day, guys. Bad friends. Listen, this Listen. is the last day. This is, the, tomorrow is the last day. I mean, tomorrow's the last day f- to, to get these uh, shirts. Tomorrow's the last day to get these the shirts. competition. And uh, hopefully I'll be winning the competition because I'm, no, I'm, I'm ahead right now. This is better. Well, I'm ahead right now. This so is a better shirt. Go to badfriendsmerch.com to get these. Badfriendsmerch.com. Also, uh, we only have a chunk of dates left. Temecula, Reno, Sacramento, Long Beach, Windsor, Niagara Falls, Tucson. And we end in Vegas on 420, man. Come check us out. Check us out. Go to badfriendspod.com. Badfriendspod.com. Com. You two are bad friends. Who are these two idiots? A white dude and an Asian dude. You two are disgusting. Well, you two are something. We're bad friends. We're back, baby. You ready? Sing us a song. Idi Amin is my friend. No, he's not. I'm sure he will be at the end. Yes, he will. Mm-hmm. That's it. I, that, that really bummed me out. That the, Happy New Year to you. No, <laughs> no, no. 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 What, what? New Year me, is over. Give me the give love. The, no. Give me the truck and mm-hmm. give me the fudge. <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, uh, Chris DeStefano is down in town and we love him. He's thicky, thicky legs and a lot of gums in his mouth. Keep going. <laughs> I'm just trying to do some things that AI won't be able to copy. No, AI is going to copy all of us. They can't do that. Yeah, they will. Yeah. They can't do that. Your AI was going to be hilarious. <laughs> yes. It's going to be like, what are you about? Cube shot. Yes, cube shot. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our guest today is it one of our oldest and dearest friends who we love so much. It's Chris <sighs> DeSafferno. Uh, uh, and Chrissy Chaos is looking <laughs> real svelte. My mother used to say svelte when she meant like uh, thick boy status. You like that? you thick boy. You know what it is? It's, a cor- it's the corduroy shirt. I think corduroy shirts. I don't know what it is. You, I just feel like I'm a, I, I'm like a blanket. What are we? <laughs> no, you, you know what you're doing. You're, the, you're doing the Mark Maron route. Yeah. What's what does that mean? That that yeah. look. The whole look is the Mark Maron, except for the shoes. Right. And the pants. Maron would never wear Mar- ta- tapered off pants. Oh, that's so, true. Lululemons. I don't think Mark Maron wear Lululemons. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Lulu Schmelins. Lululemon. Although he is sour, so he might wear Lulu. Is that Lululemon? Lululemon. Do you have a men's department? Yes. Okay, burn. You ready for this? What? Do they? I've never. I've been in there. I've never seen it. Of course, it. they have a men's department. You've been in the men's department. Also, okay. it's gender fluid, dude. It is. Lulu's gender fluid. Oh, Do you know about the go. creator? <laughs> Do you know like why he named it Lululemon? Do, I'm. I'm. Hold not, on. I'm not making like, can this we up. Get, can we make a guess? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. So Lulu, it's got to be somebody's name. I, Lemon. It sounds a like fruit. It. No. Oh, you, you ready? You're good. <laughs> this is. This is. Damn, dude, you're good. No, I was, I'm not done. I was putting the two together. Go on. With, you know, Sherlock Holmes is on the crime scene. You got, He's got to put the evidence. And, and you're, you're my, what's this guy, the guy's name? I'm Sherlock. You're the. You're Sherlock? <laughs> Why can't I be Sherlock? You're 100%. Can I be not, Sherlock? You're not Sherlock of anything. Moriarty. Moriarty. You're Mor- Moriarty. 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 Maybe Moriarty. Yeah. You're Watson. I'm home. Oh, I'll be Watson. Or then you show up at the scene. Well, now, <laughs> we've got a case of Lululemon on our hands. Yeah. What do you think, Watson? Well, I think. <laughs> well, I think. Why? What is Lululemon? I why am I Asian? Why am I Asian? Are you Asian again? You gotta be oh, British. Yeah, no? yeah. I'm sorry. Hello, hello, hello. Mm-hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, Sherlock. <laughs> Sherlock, dude. Oh, wait, even what? your even your British is. Hello, Asian. hello. <laughs> shut up, shut up. Let me finish. Why is it called Lululemon? It's called Lululemon, and again, you can Google this because the founder of Lululemon was like a known racist, and he named it that so Chinese people couldn't pronounce it. Shut the fuck I up. I swear to God, dude, Google it. Okay. Google Lululemon founder <laughs> makes names it so Chinese can't. Yeah, funny to watch Japanese people try to say it. <laughs> oh, this guy's the best. <laughs> say it. Say it. Say it. What? Say Lululemon. Say Lululemon. 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 Ruru-ramen. Ruru-ramen. <laughs> so the reason no- the Japanese liked my former skateboard brand, Homeless, is because it had an L in it, and Japanese marketing firm wouldn't come up with a brand name with an L in it, so it's not their vocabulary. It's a tough pronunciation for them. So I thought, next time I have a company, I'll make a name with three L's and see if I can get three times the money. It's kind of exotic for them. This is a direct quote. Wow. I was playing with L's and came up with Lululemon. It's funny to watch them try to say it. Wilson was quoted as saying, this guy, what's this guy's net worth? This guy made so much money being a bigot. Makes- and it, this just shows you, kids, you can be racist and still be rich. Yes. That whole idea of like racism is bad is not a real idea. Look it's at Lululemon. Made up by the media. Chip Wilson is his name. Great name. 68 years old, $6.8 billion. Billion dollars. <laughs> Say billion. 
experience. See, they can't no, do I'm that either. I'm trying to figure out what's a, what's like, a, let's say we're, you know, creating a company mm-hmm. and we want a top Lululemon. How would we name it? Um, Little Lady London. <laughs> little, little Lady London. <laughs> yeah. Mary, it gotta be. Uh, Mary, yeah, or, yeah. or H. H and L's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Cause it goes to Hari. Yeah. yeah. Harry. No, Harry Mary, no. Harry Mary's. <laughs> <laughs> Help out! You're a part of the group. Harry Mary, um, <laughs> because it's got to be things that we're saying Asian people can't pronounce. Yeah, so a lot of L's and R's, right? R's and L's. Yeah. Harry Mary's. Harry Mary Larry's. Harry Harry. <laughs> Harry Mary. Uh, Harry Mary Larry's. Uh, contrary. Uh, contrary. <laughs> l- l- uh, little. Yeah. Little. Uh, little lizard loves ladies. Oh, the little lizard loves. That's ladies. it. Little little lizards love ladies. Yeah. that's our company. <laughs> that's it. Little so lizard the store ladies. opens, right? You're a Japanese person. Uh, no, you are. No, you're the Japanese person. Nah, I was the dude. Person last time. I'm Chip Wilson. Yeah. You know what? I'm and the I'm the bigot that owns the store. And I'll be a customer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I come in. All right. So what? What? I'm the Japanese guy. Yeah, you're my partner. We opened it together. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, how you feeling about the? A store opening today. Really good, really good. I'm so fix, excited. Did you fix the sign out front? Uh, I, I fixed. Some of the letters were out. What did it say when you were out there? What do you mean? The uh, the business name was well, it all first, out there. Because you told me to get all the lettering here in Japan. Yeah. We don't have the L's and the R's. No L's. So and I had to go get it from America. Wow. So you fuck you. Sorry. About right. That. So I had to get it shipped down here, imported here. Uh huh. Right. So it came last night at three in the morning. You put it up though. What? You put up the sign? Yeah, what was the name of the st- st- <laughs> Wait, wait, I forgot. What was the name of our store again? Oh, well, there's a customer here. Hi. <laughs> oh, Hi. hello. Hi. We're not open. We open five minutes. Hi. <laughs> we doing? Excuse me. Hello. We open five minutes. Okay. No, welcome him into our store and say the name. Say welcome to. I, I forgot the name. <laughs> Little Liz. Oh, hold on, hold on. Shut the fuck up. I forgot the name of our store. Though. Well, you better go outside. Oh, look. I look, I look, I look. Oh, hey, how you doing? What's your name? Welcome Hi. to. Welcome to. What is it? Little. Lit, what was little little what lizard little little, little li- lizard little lizard little lizard ladies lucky <laughs> welcome to little lizard lucky 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 <laughs> hi hi uh, thank I, I, I welcome I just saw this store I'm little a, lizard like rocky rocky yes <laughs> I um I it looks amazing in here I'm a, I I don't even know what we're selling but welcome well, to well, welcome to Rizzo, 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 Rocky, Rocky, Rocky. You know, it's I'm um I'm a woman from America. Yeah, we can tell. Yeah, so we I, know. I'm we a lady tell. from America and Welcome. I'm from Japan. So it looked like it looked yeah. like they had some. Come on in. Fit there's me. nothing in here. No, there's so much product. I, I know. Look at all the stuff we have. Oh, that's true. Well, you know, I don't think you true. I don't think you'd fit into our stuff. Oh. Yeah. I thought I I thought I could. No, I don't think so. I think you're a little too beefy for us. You're too beefy for us. Yeah. Yeah. Go- get the fuck out of here. I don't know how to. No, do no. It. Yeah. Rejector. In get Japan, her out we here. say stuff. Like, get the fuck out of here, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you fuck. Give me ugly. a sword. Give me a sword. Kill yourself. Yeah. Anyway, that's okay. Okay. We're, we're gonna open up a shop. Yes. Oh, by the way, now that we're on Asians, let's talk all things Asian now. Yeah, oh, I'm Bobby. sorry, by no, the way, Bobby, for- You brought it up again. I want to say that I I want to start off also, too, before apologize for um last time I was in here two years ago. I apologize for immediately coming onto the show um and pushing my eyes back and yelling Donald <laughs> Trump in your face. But he's running again, so- Yeah, so no, no, if it happens wait, did again- did you get in trouble for it? No. No, no, no but I- You ju- get some heat online, be honest. No, sometimes, but I just Because when say, you did that- you know what they say about me now? What? That Bobby hates his own. Yes. Just because I I watch that happen and I don't yes. say shit. Right. So uh, online now I can say Bobby hates his, himself. Yeah. You know and, how? And he, where he comes from and his ethnicity. So fuck you, dude. Wait, no, you know because they, right? you know what happens? Mean, <laughs> fuck you, Donald Trump. Donald people, Trump. <laughs> because people, people have messaged me and said, you know, just because he laughs at that doesn't mean you can say that about all Asian people. And they're right. And they're right. So I want. They're not right. No, but I want to say to them. I want to say to right. the Asian, to the people who are mad at me, I am better, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you know how in the you know how they say in the black community they say Uncle Tom. Yeah, your Uncle Chang. Your Uncle. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Chang. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
Uncle Chang. Uncle Chang. Uncle Chang. Somebody online make an Uncle Chang shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'm an Uncle Chang. <laughs> Uncle Chang. Uncle Chang right now. No, I, I think it's right in society, but in the chambers and also of in comedy? the system of comedy, yeah, come on. anything Fine. should be said. Give me a yeah. break. So in the Asian world, I want to congratulate Stephen Yun and Ali Wong and the entire cast and crew of Beef for winning. And Andrew's on the show, so give them a round of applause. Andrew just won a fucking Golden Globe. I did, first of all, I didn't win a Golden Globe. Did you go? But you're a part of it. No, so he's a part of it. I have nothing to do with it. Right. You're no. in the show. I'm on a couple episodes. I'm a guest star. Yeah. So give him a round of applause. No, 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 no. I didn't win anything. <laughs> they did. And also, more importantly than that, I just want to get that out of the way because this one's, I just want to do, you know, you start with something nice and then you go back. I do want to congratulate Korea as a whole. Yes. We are, fi they finally announced that they are banning the consumption of dog meat I, I in Korea. Wait. Woo! But not right away. There's like two or three more years. Yeah, it's not going to be till 2055, but it is going to happen. Yeah, 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 no, I'm yeah, dead yeah, serious. Yeah. It is going to be a long time. What do they say? They're banning it? I don't agree with it. I think they should, if it's culture and it's customary to do that, then they should do that and not take the dog meat away from the people who love the dog meat because there's pressure mm -hmm. from the Western world to do that. I think if you and your people want to eat dog meat, if you are dog meat eating people, no. then yeah. you should continue to eat your no, dog meat no. with your chopsticks no. and sit on the floor. No, no, no. Well, they have till 2027 to stock no, no. up. <laughs> By the way, hey, everyone's hey, just hey, gonna have hey, fri hey. freezers filled with dogs. Hey, I know. Just to I'm gonna get you a Petco. I'm gonna get you a Petco membership so you can have me for your family. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, all the shelters are like these. All these dogs are adopted. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Look at this. It says it's gonna go into effect in 2027, and yeah. also that's after a three and then a three year transition period. So 2030 they'll have to stop. What do you think? So by 2030 they'll go. All right, guys, we got to start slowing this down. Do you have a dog? Huh? No. Exactly. I don't. It sounds like it. I don't want animals. I I don't. I have no problem with animals. Yeah, well, yeah, you but you live with three animals. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Puerto Ricans. <laughs> and I live. I have. I have. Um. No. I. I don't want. Um. I have. I have kids. I have. I have three children. So yeah. I, that. That's enough. But I don't want. I don't want uh, any animals, and I don't hate animals. I just don't want to have to clean up there. But have you ever bonded with a dog or a cat? No. Like I've had a relationship. With one, never, never, never. You never had one as a kid or nothing. Well, that's the problem. Well, yeah. because you know, because if you had, you wouldn't have sense of bullshit like you did two, two minutes ago. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. The that's reason, fucking bullshit. The reason yeah. why is because when I was a little kid, my mom came home with a Dalmatian, and then that Dalmatian, uh, I let it go into the basement, and then it ate all the Clorox, and I found its dead body, and that, and that, um, disconnected me from having pets. And you know what I named that Dalmatian? <laughs> Cruella. <laughs> and then you know what my father said to my mother? You know what I overheard my father saying to my mother whoa, whoa. after I named the baby Cruella? Whoa. After I named the dog Cruella? He said to my mom, he said, Lynn, I think our kid's gay. <laughs> because I named her, uh, my favorite movie was 101 Dalmatians. That was, that, your fa was your favorite movie? 101 Dalmatians with Glenn Close when she played Cruella and that's why I named my dog after and then the dog ate bleach and died in my basement and that's why I don't want dogs. But <laughs> I would have because I care about culture more than anything and I want to make sure the people who have attacked me online know that I care about culture more than anything and if that dog would, if I would, if that happened to me today and that I found that dog dead in the basement of my house, I would give it to Bobby as an offer for a meal for your family. <laughs> and I would let you have a feast over my animal for you and your brothers and sisters. Well, thank you. What was your favorite movie as a kid that was that would be misconstrued like that as kind of like gay or, or like what did you love as a kid that you were like embarrassed about? You didn't want any of your friends to find out about it. As a kid? Yeah, like I'll get my example. What he's saying about 101, like I... I <laughs> I ha I loved Phantom of the Opera as a kid, mm. and I don't even like. Pl I fucking hate musicals. Right. I had an Andrew Lloyd Webber poster in my fucking room. <laughs> I swear to God, dude. Yeah. I fucking thought Phantom was like Love the it. coolest shit, and it was so gay. Yeah. Like the everyone gangs. I knew was like Andrew Lloyd. Were you like composers? I, I was like nine. Yeah. I like that movie Little maybe Women. Maybe far away, or maybe real nearby. And he did. Dude, that was yours, it. Annie. Wow. Keep going though. Will you sing more? I don't know the rest of that song. <laughs> we'll just make it up. <laughs> Me. Let's okay, start from the beginning. Do you know that song? Yeah. She's on the windowsill. Yeah. With her little red hair. Yeah. I think that's why. That's why you and I are in love. You're my Annie. Yeah. I honestly, I. I'm trying to you know, think what you, you know, are. You know, to how, me. you know how when people look at redheads, they get repulsed, or they have okay. This, no, I'm just being. Some people get repulsed and they want to vomit and stuff. What people? Which is some people are like that. When I saw you for the first time, nothing. 
I was like, oh, normal human being. I feel normal. Like, I feel like a- you connected with me because of Banny. Yeah, yeah. Some people look at you yeah. and they go, oh, you know what I mean? Whatever, you know. No, my, my, no, people with red hair. Am I right? Am I not right? No. When you see a red, no? When I first when saw you. When you see the freckles in the vagina, I, is it like, what is it? Freckles right. on the vagina? Some redheaded women have freckles on their vagina. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. Anyway. When I saw you, I was like, Jackie Chan got fat as fuck, but I was excited that you got into oh, comedy. Oh, that's funny. Yes. Yeah, Jackie Chan, that's fun. Well, that's my childhood. If Annie is, is your is childhood. Real? Yeah, but Jackie Chan, that's what you came up with right now? Look up Fat Jackie Chan and see if it's not you see online. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Watch, look at Fat Jackie Chan. Pat Morita, maybe. No, uh, Fat Jackie Chan. Fat Jackie Chan. Oh, there, uh, 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 there it is. Fourth, no, first image on the second row. Second row, first image. Boom, Bobby Lee. <laughs> wow. Boom, and Bobby that's him Lee. playing uh, Kim Jong-un. Jong -un. Anyway. If they don't cast I you. I love Annie. That, if they don't cast you as that. All right. Seriously. So Annie was your thing. As I loved kid. Annie, yeah. But did you not tell anybody? No, nobody. You're embarrassed about it? Well, it's, I, I like that with music, too. Like, you know, I, I tell people like, I like Sarah McLaughlin. <laughs> Whoa. She's so good. Oh, she is? I love her. Maybe, but she's great. She's great. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. No, she's still good. She's good now? Yeah. yeah. Enya. Enya's great. great. Yes. Enya's great, right? No, Nani. give me, a, give me a more embarrassing band. If you're going to give me a band that's embarrassing, give me somebody that's like, you're, you're at, that's like actually. Well, I used to get uh, Charles Manson's music tapes. <laughs> Charles Manson. Charlie, you mean Marilyn Manson? No, Charles Manson. <laughs> oh, oh, it's <laughs> his, his acoustic tapes. Oh, yeah. right. Oh, they're so good. Those are good. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your embarrassing band? <sighs> Since when I was a kid or like currently? <laughs> oh, but, well, I, I know you have way more now than then yeah. for some reason. Um, back then, um, I used to, I used to love, um, uh, 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 well, like I remember that song, I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. It's fantastic. Made of plastic. I would put on that song when I was winding down in the gym to get me pumped up and I would imagine myself singing that song to all my classmates. <laughs> I don't know why, but I love that. That's I always imagine myself singing songs. And I remember being at Force Fitness in Ridgewood, Queens on the treadmill, hitting it at 9.0 with incline, going, I'm a Bobby girl <laughs> in a Bobby world. And, and, but meaning it dead seriously with a CD, you know, cassette, uh, you know, the CD uh, Walkman. And I yeah. and, and 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 I listened to a lot of In Sync. Yeah. Um. I loved In Sync. <laughs> um. I loved Backstreet Boys. I would listen to all that. And right now, my favorite band is the 1975. I go to all their concerts. You're friends with these guys. Well, yes. I've slowly but surely, slowly become friends with one of the best days I had in my life was about three weeks ago when I was texting the lead singer Matty Healy, and I said something to him, and I made him laugh, and I screenshot it and saved it, and asked Jasmine to print it out, and she <laughs> called me an F A double G O T. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A fajo? A fajo. A fajo. Right, let me ask you something. Are there people? Okay. As, as you get, you know, as we get a name, right? Sometimes people that we didn't like before now like us because they were famous or whatever. Like who? And then we start liking. I don't know how to name names. Name names. Is, oh, uh, is there anyone like that where you're like, before you had, you, you were Chris Stefano. Mm -hmm. You're you're like, ah, fuck that guy. But now that you, you know, what I mean, they're reaching out to you. Let's hang out. Then you like them at now. Um. Uh. uh um. No, I think what's happened though is like people that I used to like tweet at, you know, like like just talking shit, having fun in 2012, 2013, where I was just like letting stuff rip. That's how I used to be. Yeah. They've now, you know, some of those people I've seen it, like um, uh, Joey Fatone from In Sync. Ah. You know, I've He's met your him now. now a couple of, fun guy. You know, yeah, we, yeah. we never really spoke, um, but I know that you know. But I'm you know in 2013, 2014, out of no for no reason, I would just tweet, you know. You know, crazy stuff about Joey Fatone for no reason. <laughs> I would, you know, like for, what? Like there was no. I don't, <laughs> like what? I don't even actually remember what I. I would. I would like just random days. I'd be like, "Hey, what's up? Good morning on this beautiful Wednesday." I just want to say, I fucking hope Joey Fatone falls off a cliff. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> for no reason. Yeah, yeah. For literally zero, zero, zero. Does reason. he remember that shit or no? No, no, no. But you know, now I know people are close friends with him. I've been around him a couple times. He's such a great guy that I like regret doing that. But I was literally tweeting stuff back then you know i've tweeted i was talking to don uh Tepeta, uh about this who i always travel with who just got a haircut i think it looks very nice yeah, he shaved his beard too he shaved his beard he looks good he looks like a good boy and yeah. i told him that there's so many things when people weren't listening people weren't listening at all in 2011 i would just tweet and think it was funny to the hundred people in different times and then sometimes they'll pop up or a guy around my social media would say hey you know do you want me to permanently delete this tweet and i always say no i'm just like whatever but like i would just say not shit back then that you know could cause a lot of harm today i want to know yeah. who, who you're talking about well I, we can like, blank it out no here's what i say so what i'm saying is that there's one guy that I wasn't that, that huge a fan of, and maybe I would make fun of or whatever. But when I actually saw in person, I acted like like a fucking bitch. Who? Who? Corey Feldman. Wow. So I was like at a premiere, 
and I was sitting next to Kalila, mm -hmm. and Ike Barinholtz was sitting here, and I looked to my left, and I go, oh my God, it's Corey Feldman. And you got so tight, you got all- I got so shy. You got oh hyped God, up about it. Did he even acknowledge you? And I looked over, and I, go, and I walked up to him, and I go, hey, and his bodyguard, he goes, hey, I'm a big fan. And then Corey put his sunglasses down, and he goes, hello. <laughs> and you know how they shoot shake like this? Mm -hmm. And then you have to reach out, mm -hmm. right? It's not this. I don't like that. No, I love it. This is so no, fucked up. Not this. This is like mini Hitler. This. They leave a gap, so you put your fingers in there. And you slide it. Whoa. <laughs> you pac man it? Yeah, yeah, you pac man it. It's, like it's like a toaster, and you put your fucking hand. How long do you leave it in, for? in there? Two what? or three? Uh, two minutes. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I want it like medium burnt. Right. Are you still friends yeah, with him? Yeah, what? Are you still friends with him? Never got his number, nothing. <sighs> but I think he goes, hello, like this. Put this sunglasses. Well, he, went, he went like this. Well, he goes. And the guy, so the bodyguard goes, big fan. And he goes, doesn't even look at me. He goes, hello. <laughs> <laughs> then, then, I, then I stuck my finger in there for two minutes, right? <laughs> Ding! <laughs> right? And then I walk back. <laughs> I, uh, I want Corey Feldman on the show. Get on the show, Corey, if you want to fucking the, come on the show. The only thing that happened, I'm a you know grew up you know in New York, a big Yankees fan, New York Yankees fan, and Bernie Williams, the center fielder for the Yankees, was always my favorite baseball player. And then out of nowhere, one day, I got a message from Bernie Williams' Instagram. You know, it wasn't him; his guy runs it. He was like, "Hey, Bernie Williams knows your comedy. His daughter is a fan. He wants to know if you want to perform at his 50th birthday party. Mm. All the Yankees mm. will be there. Joe Torre mm. and A-Rod and Jeter and Posada, all these guys. And for me, I was like, oh my God. I was like, I have to do this. Like, this is like a dream come true. And I went out there for Bernie Williams' 50th birthday <laughs> in front of, in a room this size. Yeah. It was a private, obviously, party with the <sighs> classic, you know, four Ch World Series title winning New York Yankees. And I absolutely bombed yeah. for 15 minutes wow. in front of them all to the point where Bernie Williams, Bernie Williams was like on his own, you know, while I was bombing, like started clapping me off. He was like, happy birthday to me. Happy <laughs> birthday to me. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And now what, what are you feeling when that's happening? It literally, I swear to God, I was locking eyes with Joe Torre, who yeah. was like the legendary, you know, manager of the team. And he did not crack a smile, nothing. He was just looking at me. I almost felt like he was saying like, just dude, please, please sir, just stop. Stop it, <laughs> stop it. The only person love, who was laughing it. was Bernie Williams' manager who booked me, who thought it was absolutely hilarious that I was just eating Watching my dick. you bomb must be the funniest thing imaginable. Well, you laugh a lot, I'm sure. You're like yeah. trying to laugh your way out. Because you're not gonna care. I don't think, I think in your no. mind, you're smiling, you're, you have a smirk. Right. And you know you're bombing. Yes. You know, you're self-aware. I'm self-aware. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I'm self-aware. I felt the sweat running down my back onto the top of my ass crack, <laughs> yeah, yeah, even yeah. though it was the middle of the winter. <laughs> yeah. I saw A-Rod, I mean, not caring. I did the best I absolutely Absolutely could. I cursed way too much. There were kids in the audience. It was absolutely <laughs> the wrong choice. Yeah. Um. And and I ate it. I ate it really, really hard in front of my money? absolute hero. Money. Not even that much money. It was an opportunity. It was just an opportunity. Wow. And then I bought. And then I did the same thing about four years later for the owner of the New York Mets. I bombed even harder. <laughs> the, you didn't learn, you didn't I learn. swear to God, I bombed even harder for yeah. the New York Mets yeah. staff and Tommy Matola. Tommy Matola was there. Yeah. Great guy. Famous music producer. Famous music producer. And I said, I was bombing again hard. And I said to him, I said, Tommy, I said, Tommy Matola, um, I said, Tommy, you know, uh, uh, your ex wife, Mariah Carey, I said, I, I had a picture up of her in my locker. And again, you know, just, I didn't even know where that was going to go. <laughs> why? I don't know. Why, 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 I, don't, why? I have no idea why. And he goes, uh, and he said, you know, uh, something happened. I said something after that. And then Tommy Matola, in the middle of it, he goes, yeah. He goes, why don't you, uh, why don't you talk about my ex-wife again? He goes, that was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Shopify, you guys. You know, Andrew and I, bad friends. We have an online store. We That's sell right. stuff online, and, and Shopify is the way to go if you're going to do that, guys. When I started podcasting, an online store was the furthest, furthest thing from my mind. Now I'm selling T-shirts and beanies, and it's so easy, all because I use Shopify. Cha Ching, Shopify, baby. Yeah. Shopify is so easy, so simple. Uh, no matter what you're selling, we sell shirts and beanies and mugs and all that stuff. You can put anything on there. It's the global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business, whether it's teeny tiny and you're doing it out of your garage or you have a full, huge, massive warehouse operation. This is the way to launch your online store using Shopify. Whether you're selling scented soap or offering outdoor outfits, Shopify helps you sell everywhere from their all-in-one e-commerce platform to their in-person POS system, wherever and whatever you're selling, Shopify's got 
got you covered. We got you covered like a big comfy blanket. All right, they're going to help you turn browsers into buyers with the internet's best converting checkout, up to 36% better compared to other leading e-commerce platforms. So why aren't you using Shopify if you're selling online? We do, and so should you. Bob, tell them what's happening. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash badfriends. Go to shopify.com slash badfriends, all lowercase, now to go grow your business, no matter what stage you're in. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash badfriends, all lowercase, shopify.com slash badfriends. Blue Chew. Okay, yeah, I'm a crotchety old man, but you know what? I still like to smash. <laughs> and let me tell you something right now. I need equipment to do so, and I use Blue Chew to get my equipment ready to go, dude. Ready to go. You don't like blue balls, so you got to use Blue Chew. It's a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra, but in chewable tablets and at a fraction of the cost. The okay? process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved... You'll receive your prescription within days. You know the best part is? It's all done online. No more doctor visits, uh, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at a pharmacy. Uh, it goes straight to your door, okay? And the yeah. tablets are made here in the USA and prepared and shipped direct to your door in a discreet package no one knows because it's none of their business. And Blue Chew wants to help you have better sex. Discover your options at BlueChew.com. Chew it and do it. Mm-hmm, baby. We've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew for free when you use, you use our promo code BADFRIENDS at checkout. Just pay $5 for shipping. That's BlueChew.com, promo code BADFRIENDS, B-A-D-F-R-I-E-N-D-S, to receive your first month for free. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. And then I bombed that, but the owner of the Mets' son became close personal friends with me. So now I got in with the Mets through bombing you know, mm. at, at his event, you know, at, at, at the owner. Uh, so now you can go any the, game. Go any yeah. game. Wow. Sometimes bombing pays off. Wow. Bombing See pays off. Not with the Yankees. The Yankees have now, the Yankees have said I'm not like. Yeah, but that makes sense. Anymore. You can't bomb with the Yankees. Can't bomb. Can't bomb with the Yankees. Wow. And That's and it, because I'm friends with the Mets, can't do anything really with the Yankees anymore. Wow. Kind of lost my Yankees but privilege. you're a diehard Yankees fan. <sighs> I am, but, you know. That's it's, a weird predicament. It's a weird thing. I don't like it. Because I'm city first. The whole thing of having two sports teams in a city just sucks. I hate that. Like Chicago, it's you. there's only one team to choose. That's the Cubs. Mm. Right. It's the Cubs. The Cubs, you just choose them. Yeah, you love those bums. Nobody's going to root for the White Sox. But the Yankees and Mets, they both have great fans. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's different. You know? That's different. You don't get killed if you go to Shea Stadium. No, no, it's just you know, City Field now. Yeah, mm. yeah, it's it's. No, nah, no, nah, Shea Stadium. Okay, Shea Stadium. But uh, is, is, shouldn't we reserve the name for what it used? Like I still call it Staples Center. I don't call it Crypto when I go downtown. It's no. called the Staples Center. No, I'm not gonna give it up. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick Ooh, it out. You should. I, it's not Crypto. Crypto. No. I'm going to the Crypto. If they change arena. their, if they I call it the Crypto.com Arena. If I transition, and my name is fucking Barbara. Call me Barbara. Your name is Bobby. No, Barbara. I met you as Bobby. Your I name don't is care. Bobby until if I you die. I'm Barbara. I don't give a shit if you cut off your dick in front of me. Your name is Bobby. My pussy would be real tight. It's just B O B B I E. Okay. That's all it is. Oh, good point. Yeah. You, oh. Yeah. I would just Bobby Lee. Change it. No. B O B B I. Can I do that? No. Like Bobby Altoff. Like keep the E, please. All right, Bobby I E. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I like how we compromise. Fight, 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 fuck it. Um, have you ever embarrassed yourself in front of a celebrity? I don't know if I want. I was. I have one. Okay, you go. I was at Maria Menounos's. Christmas party. What? Ooh, yummy. You know who that is? She's beautiful. Everybody knows Maria Menudos. What the fuck are you but talking about? But this is about? 15 years ago. Like, she's ne she doesn't know who I am. Yeah. But that year she did. She still doesn't know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Maria Menounos yeah, 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 she still doesn't know. Yeah. Maria Menounos thinks you hosted the Golden Globes. <laughs> 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 did you see John Choi on the Golden Globes? <laughs> He's so cute. He was yeah, yeah, fun. Yeah, he was yeah, good. Yeah. yeah. The audience didn't get him. They didn't get it. They didn't get it. Um, <laughs> so I, I did a movie with her. What movie? It was a Jamie Kennedy. They're kicking her old school. Oh, kicking She's it. She's in oh, there, yeah, right? Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. She's like the love interest. So I'm at a party, and I'm like by myself, sitting at a couch in some backyard. And I'm sitting next to a guy. I swear to fucking God, I thought he was like a software engineer. Mm -hmm. You know, he's wearing glasses. You know what I mean? A white like dude. White nerd. Yeah, like he's editor. He looks like an editor. <laughs> okay. Right? Right. So he's like, hey, you do comedy? I go, yeah, yeah, kill it. <laughs> well, I like to kind of look at him like that because I'm like, no one else will talk to me. Steven Spielberg. No, it's <laughs> no, but he goes, what's it like? I go, yeah, I'm just playing these rooms, 150, 200, selling them out. So you're boasting. I'm boasting. Yeah, you like an the idiot shit. Yeah. in this movie. You know, we'll see what happens. You know, this and, that. <laughs> mm -hmm. and I talk about myself for like 30 minutes. Nice. <laughs> for 30 minutes, I talk about myself, right? And I was when I was leaving, I got off, I got, see you later, dude. And I walk up. 
And then um, I forgot it was Jamie or somebody came up to me and goes, dude, what's Josh Groban like? Oh. Oh, there's Josh Groban. Yeah, and I go, what? Mm. You just talking to Josh Groban for like 30 minutes. You had no idea. No. I don't, I've never heard, yeah. <laughs> I had heard as the name. Yeah. I just couldn't put a face to the name. And then shame. No. Yeah. I, oh, seriously. The Grobe still likes you. No, like I still that. want to turn around and go, dude, I'm, I'm a loser. Yeah, no. No. No, yeah, no, no. But no. You're, what you're having is you're having a, that, that spotlight kind of thing where you think they're thinking about you and upset it, but he didn't he didn't know he, he had no you, idea. but i know but if he's selling out probably theaters or whatever he's selling out right i'm saying i'm selling out the sacramento punchline <laughs> right it doesn't fucking look good yeah but dude. he's not yeah. a comic so exactly. it's different it's different if he was a comedian it'd be weirder but he's right. a musician it's two different worlds well, i guarantee Roman, you you're the big star i guarantee you <laughs> I, listening i've got nothing bobby i guarantee you i got nothing bobby, I'm sure I, I literally guarantee i guarantee you do fuck you dude i guarantee josh you Groban, thank you so much josh groban went home i guarantee you josh groban went home told his wife or partner he said we got to go see Margaret Cho. She just told me how, how well she's doing. And it's, we, and then he went and saw Margaret Cho, and she couldn't understand why he was at the yeah, show yeah, because yeah, she yeah, thought yeah. Yeah, all right. he was with you. Very so good. it's fine. Very good. I, ha I had... Uh, <laughs> very I think very I told, good. Did, did I tell I like the Australian it. story <laughs> about Russell Crowe? No, you've never... You told me. No, that's the best story. you got to say that story. Say the story, because you know what? I'm going to take bar from Marcus Aurelius and the Stoics. You never step in the same river twice. That's right. And also, there you go. also, can I say that? And I think I'm doing a movie with him. With Russell? In yeah, Russell Crowe. All right, in so, two months. So should I be careful? It's like locked in, so it's like... Are you in Gladiator no, 2? I want you to... Huh? What? Are you in Gladiator 2? <laughs> Are you in Gladiator 2? <laughs> dude, dude. I, <laughs> dude, dude, dude. <laughs> I oh, you got a present. Yeah, let's see what the gift that you yeah, gave Yeah, go us. fuck yourself. No, no, oh. no. Bobby. All right, all right. I'll get hold on. <laughs> Let me see. Sp Hi. Fancy brought us something back from there Spain. There he is. Mm -hmm. Little Bobby. Oh, no. I Ooh, know what it is. Look at the little butt crack. I know what it is. What is it? It's, a, it's probably something that's going to make me take a nap. What oh, weed? No, I know what it is. Okay. This is from Fancy brought us back from Spain because he got back from Spain. Spain. Oh, look oh. at this. Oh. Is this an ashtray? <laughs> no. Is what is a stupid mask? Is it a? Is it, <laughs> it's a porcelain mask. <laughs> is that for the next pandemic? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here! These are Kobe. so. Actually, honestly, these are cool, dude. Yeah, these are very. Pretty. And what? They're so Poppy's cool. is gonna be broken. He <laughs> threw it on the floor. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> His fingers are all bloody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does this go on my wall? Mm -hmm. These are great. Dude. And now, is this for good luck? Yes. The price tags in here. No. Six ninety nine. Yeah. Fucking cheap. Che. These are beautiful. Oh, look oh. at this one. <laughs> That one looks more like you. Yes, because those the eyes are closer together. What is this one? This is not luck. Yeah. It's death, I see. Is it death? So fancy explain. What are yeah, these yeah. what are these called? What is this called? It's called Sargadelos, which is uh, a ceramic company. Sargadelo. In, in Galicia. What does Sargadelo mean? And there's no, it doesn't mean anything. It's just the name of the of the guy who okay. who created it. And it's all based on like the mythology of the Celtic uh region where Galicia is from. Wow. So all did you understand masks. anything he just said? No, but no. Like, these are one of those things that 200 years from now, like at the Antique Rogue show. It's going to be worth like 500 grand. Yeah, yeah Easily. Yeah. It could be. Yeah. It has one of those marks. So I could see it at an antique store and somebody just buying it for a dollar and then going to antique. Some guys go, well, like, this is a Salganadano. I don't even know where you got this from. <laughs> yes. But the fact that you have a Sargardello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, in good condition, these things would auction. For anywhere between two hundred and fifty to four hundred thousand yeah, dollars, yeah, yeah, yeah. this, my friend, is an impeccable condition. And, 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 a sargadello like I've never seen. I mean, I, he still has the box. Uh, oh my god! In the box and the papers. Rarely do we ever see the box. We never see the box. Sargadello, yeah, but oh, wow. I would value this at anywhere between seven hundred thousand and four point eight billion dollars, <laughs> given an auction. This is very nice, fancy. Thank you so very much. Are you going to put that up in the house, the Sacramento's? This is going to go in my garage. There you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My fucking house. What are you out of your mind? No way. I value my home. Um, there you go. Well, no, you know what? We should, we should bring this to an antique store. See how long it would take for them to sell it. You know what's going to really happen? We're going to leave it in the studio and never see it. Again. Oh, that's right. That's right. No, I Let's thought. Leave it here. Can I have it? No. Bring no. back a gift for my kids. No. 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 <laughs> Shut up, dude. <laughs> so stupid. Dude. So here I, <laughs> I was down that. in Australia shooting <laughs> shooting that that movie and. We were out. I'm gonna say it. Well, Ricky Sinicky, it says coming. Yeah. Well, we're out. <laughs> I was at. We're. This is na too many names. But we were at Zac Efron's house and we were drinking and hanging out. And then Pete Fairley, the director, calls and goes, "Hey, do you want to go to Russell Crowe's house?" And immediately I was like, 
You have yeah, to, what the fuck? Of course to. I want to go to But gladiators. does a little bit of social anxiety come up, even a tad bit of like, shit, don't blow in front of Russell Crowe, even though I know you've been around everybody? No, because I we were with so many people. I knew we oh, okay. were, it wasn't a small get-together. There were already people at his house, so it made me feel comfortable in that. If it was just us, I'd be a little fucked up about it. Right. I'd be like, I don't want to go to Gladiator's house. Right. So uh, he's like, yeah, dude, he's got a great crib. He's going to have us over. So we're drinking, and, and uh, I'm getting a little stony, and we show up to the Gladiator's house. Mm -hmm. and it's exactly the way you think it would be it's fucking beautiful i mean beautiful on the water and everything yeah like we don't i don't deserve to be there right you know i took my shoes off and then and, uh, one of the guys was like put your shoes back i thought we were yeah. <laughs> i took my shoes off because i thought don't you take your shoes off i mean you people do. don't you take your shoes off uh yeah i yeah I would. Put when on. i go to people's houses i take my shoes off well i always because my family's puerto rican i take my shoes off but i always have a backup pair of chancletas <laughs> <laughs> no he's food. a he's a legendary actor right a list oh, a list yes. legendary legend if i was walking to like um robert de niro's house I'd be very aware about not touching things. I wouldn't go. I, I wouldn't probably go. I'd blow it. I'd, but my I'd point is that it. there are some people like that, and then there are some people who are like, ah, fuck it. Mm, I'm gonna, right. I'm gonna throw the glass down. Yeah. <laughs> you know I mean? So who, who would be, like Steve Buscemi? Would you be nervous going to his house? No, he lives in a house. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> you would think they would live in a condo or something, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Buscemi. Buscemi lives in some kind of weird I would be shed. excited. I would go to that one for sure. Yeah, Buscemi, yeah. yes. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. stare at his teeth all Gold Bloom. I'd, I'd want to see Gold Bloom. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. That'd be fun. I'd want to see where he lives. Yeah, I'd want to yeah. see where Tom Cruise lives. Mm. <laughs> I'd want to see where he lives. Really? You wouldn't? Careful. Would you go to his party? I would go to Tom Cruise's party. Yeah, yeah. I would 100% go to Tom Cruise's hey, party. Hey, what's up, man? You got to take off all your clothes before you come in. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Leave your shoes on, but take your yeah, clothes yeah. off. They say he knows everybody's name. He remembers everybody's name, Tom Cruise. That's yeah. supposedly what Cheers. That's, that's my house on Staten Island. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you know, I would go to one Tom Cruise party, but you wouldn't make it out. Right. Yeah, You'd yeah. have to stay. Right. That's what I've heard. They'd stay. Once you go in, you don't come out. Yeah. Well, you know that you know get out. He does get in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get in. Get in. I um the uh did I ever tell you my Phil Collins story when I met Phil Collins? No. No. I I I, I, I told the story. Uh I thought I told it here. Maybe I didn't. It's on one of my specials, but so I get to go, I get invited <laughs> to the Knicks game, right? This is like 2016. Uh -huh. So it was Easter Sunday, and the Knicks and Philadelphia 76ers were the bottom of the league. They were the last place NBA teams. So nobody wanted to go on Easter Sunday and sit courtside at the Knicks game. Like, I was very, I, I had never gotten a call. I knew some people at MSG, but I had never gotten the call to sit courtside. So they call me the morning of. They're like, listen, we got two empty seats. You can sit courtside, okay? Bring somebody. Uh, don't talk to anybody, okay? This is, you know, Madison Square Garden. <laughs> don't talk to Don't anybody. talk to anybody. They said there probably will be a couple. They said we know there are a couple of other big celebrities that are going to be sitting around you guys. Don't acknowledge them. Don't talk to them. Like, you know, uh, uh, we're giving you this opportunity, uh, you know, for whatever. But it was because it was Easter Sunday and it was the last place teams and people didn't want to go. So I call my dad. So my father's like 100% I'm in, you know, we used to sit in the upper, you know, rafters or whatever. So we go and we sit down and my dad immediately start, I, I was sitting here, my dad was in the middle and then there was famous guy sitting next to him. And my dad immediately starts talking to this guy, <laughs> just immediately starts talking to him, chatting him up, talking about crazy shit, you know? <laughs> and I don't, I, I, I swear to God, I didn't even look over to see who it was because I was like wildly embarrassed, but I'm not going to tell my dad right. not to say anything. <laughs> So I hear my dad telling this guy that his son's a comedian. I hear it. And then, and then, so, yeah, yeah. and my dad go, I, he's talking and my dad goes, Chris, where, 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 where are you again next week? And I might, this guy might come show. I swear to Christ, yeah. I was performing at Bananas Comedy Club. I've been there. It's inside a Holiday Inn Express yeah, yeah, yeah. in Hasbrook Heights, New Jersey. I've done it. Yeah, it's yeah. off the side of it's Route 17. Yeah. yeah. So I was, and it, it wasn't, it wasn't even remotely close to being sold out. Like yeah. I had, yeah, yeah. I, I had sold like a hundred tickets over, you know, the course of a weekend. Is, is that the old Jewish couple that own it? Yes. Yeah. I, I, after you're done with I got to tell you something. Yeah. Okay. So so I'm like, Bananas Comedy Club. He goes, yeah. So I I said, you know, don't, Bananas Comedy Club, Dad. But I said, we're not supposed to be talking to these people. Like, just let's watch the game. And I hear my dad immediately go, yeah, Bananas Comedy Club. <laughs> That's where it'll be. If yeah. you are in New York, you know, come through. And then I'm like, okay. So um, my dad, you know, he's talking, whatever. My, he had Easter candy. Okay. The guy, my dad was talking to him, Easter candy. And my he's giving my dad Easter candy. And I'm like, and my dad's like, you want a Cadbury? What do you want? I was like, I don't want any candy. Just I'm trying to watch the game. So they put, they put <laughs> Phil Collins. My father's talking to Phil Collins. 
<laughs> he had no idea. He had no idea who Phil, <laughs> Phil. He has no idea who Phil Collins is. Doesn't know anything. They put Phil Collins up on the jumbotron. Kiss cam with your dad? <laughs> no, they put him up on the jumbotron. Yeah, and they. Pl- I've never seen this. They pl- you know normally they just throw a picture up or whatever. Right. They play. Coming in the air tonight, doo 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 doo, and I've never seen this yeah. in Madison Square Garden during a live game. You yeah. know, during a timeout, they yeah. put the lights down, <laughs> no, and no. then put this guy in the jumbo trot, yeah. and he got a standing ovation, yeah, because he's Phil Collins. Okay, yeah. and my dad turns to me, and goes, "Who the fuck is he?" <laughs> and I said, and I go, yeah. "Dad, that's Phil Collins." Yeah, yeah. Within five seconds <laughs> yeah. of the lights coming down, yeah. I have my head down. I'm yeah. like, oh, that was pretty cool. Yeah. I see the people walking with the cameras. Yeah. And I see their shoes stop right in front of me. What? And they take the camera and the lady comes over. I swear to Christ, the lady from the Nick staff comes over. She goes, Chris, uh, Destalacolo? Des- <laughs> I said, Stefano. She goes, you're up next. I said, what do you mean? She goes, we're going to put you on the Jumbotron. <laughs> Just wave. It'll be great. They put me on the jumbotron. Yeah, yeah. I swear to Christ, they put me on the jumbotron. Yeah. I have video footage of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They put me on the jumbotron. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolute pin drop silence. <laughs> I, I swear to God. Nobody's saying anything. I swear to Christ. And this wow. is not a bit. I yeah. swear to Christ. Yeah. The only thing I feel is my father's hand rubbing my back. <laughs> and he's going, it's going to be all right, Chris. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, going to yeah. be all right. And then I swear I lo- to Christ, love I'm getting my back rubbed by my dad. Yeah. Um, as soon as it's over, all of a sudden, a hand reaches across. It's Phil Collins with a bag of Easter candy, <laughs> a bag of Cadbury eggs. Yeah. And he goes, and he goes, it's going to be all right. <laughs> That's what he said. Oh, really? Oh, I my swear God. to Christ. And so then, great. But then my dad, so that was like a horrific experience. But then because of the bomb and all that, and my dad has just got like that gift of gam, Phil Collins like loved my dad. Like they were talking, he fucking loved my dad. Wow. Then he started asking me, he's like, oh, so you do comedy? And I said, yeah, you know, like trying whatever. And he was like, well, you know, if they're putting you up there, they must think you have potential. So just keep going. Wow. I was like, and look, did the people know though, who you were then? Maybe because you're a New York guy now or? No, no. Now, (laughs) no, no, not at all. No, no, right. no, because you're a New York guy. No, there's, there's nine you're million New York guy. They know you. Right? Yeah, no, no, they did not. They did not. And it was, it was, yeah, it was wild. Tell me about the old Jewish company, uh, uh, yeah. family at Go Bananas. Oh, I didn't forget it. Why? Right. I gotta top that story, man. That story was so good. It is a good story. Yeah, yeah. Phil fucking Collins. Phil Collins, bro. But it was, it was, you know. I can feel it. Coming in the edge of night. Jiv night? I'm just oh, no. copying, copying what you said, bud. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh, no. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Manscaped. Roses are red, violets are blue. Trim your balls, and your date will thank us too. Oh, man. What's up, fellas? Valentine's Day is knocking. Knock, knock, knock. Do, do, do. And Manscaped is the remedy for what the love doctor ordered. His prescription, the all new performance package 5.0 Ultra, designed My to Lord. elevate your grooming game and shine like the heartthrob you are. Join the 10 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped with our exclusive offer. Go to manscaped.com to snag 20% off plus free shipping with code BADFRIENDS. You know when I shave my uh, hair? Above my penai. Oh, the upper, the upstairs? The upper portions of the my- The attic? Yeah, the attic, right? When I shave it, it's almost as if no hair grew there ever. Well, when you use Manscaped- It's so scam- smooth. Let me tell you something. <laughs> when you're using the lawnmower 5.0, that thing, that's electric trimper. It features skin-safe technology, so you're not going to nick your nuts. It's so smooth and yeah? delicious. Yeah, keep your V-Day treasure against any grooming mishaps. It, also, it is wonderful. Can I also say, can I tell you, it also comes with the brightest LED spotlight I've ever seen in my whole life. Oh, yeah. It's brighter than it's brighter than your most romantic smile, Andrew. And sometimes when I'm taking my dog out to go to the bathroom in the mm-hmm. middle of the night, I use the LED spotlight on- the lawnmower to see where my dog is. I, it's my little flashlight. That's how bright it is. Yeah, it's my ball trimmer and my flashlight. Y- yeah, and, and and for a happy ending, there's the Manscaped Refined Cologne. Oh my God, it's so good. Yeah, it's the Valentine's Day touch to your grooming routine. Elevate your grooming routine and set the stage for a romantically smooth celebration. And for the bearded kings like myself, Manscaped brings you the Beard Hedger Pro oh, Kit. I, can't, I don't know what that's like because well, I can't, can't grow, grow a beard. It's designed to shape your scruff effortlessly. It sculpts cheek lines and maintains beard styles, giving you that suave look like me right now for romantic moments. How do they get some of this delicious? Yeah, get 20% off and free shipping with the code BADFRIENDS at Manscaped. Manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code BADFRIENDS. B 
because your grooming upgrade awaits, ready to charm your Valentine's dates. Factor! Factor! Factor. No, every time I do a performance, you know, I exert a lot of energy, and I, I put my life essence on the stage. You really do. Yeah. All of it. Yeah. And That's why uh, when you get home late at night, what, what do, do you I eat? eat? I eat Factor Day. You get yourself some Factor, baby. Get started on your resolutions with Factor. You're ready for the new year. Factor's ready to eat meal delivery. Takes the stress out of meal planning and sets you up for success in the new year. You want your life essence back into your body, dude? After Within you over 35 it? meals to choose from per week, including options like keto, calorie smart, vegan, veggie, and more. Plus, over 55 weekly add-ons, you'll have a ton of nutritious and flavorful options to kickstart your resolutions. Here's my big thing about Factor. They offer loads of snack options. I'm a snacky boy, you know? Uh, they have breakfast, smoothies, juices, snacks, and more to keep you moving no matter what your schedule's like. And we live on a crazy schedule. Bob and I live in insane schedules. We're leaving for the airport now in like an hour, and so we can't eat... Uh, a sit down meal. Like Humphrey Bogart. It, it's Humphrey Bogart. You're very Humphrey Bogart. Back in the day. Uh, and so what we have to do is eat quick meals. And Factor is there. They're cheaper uh, than takeout. They're chef crafted, restaurant quality meals delivered right to your door. How do they get this delicious stuff? How? Head to factormeals.com slash badfriends50 and use code badfriends50 to get 50% off. That's code badfriends50 at factormeals.com slash badfriends50 to get 50% off. I'm going to privately mm. tell you, I'm not going to say who, but somebody told me. They were like, I can't explain this to you, but I'm so attracted to Carlos. Oh, wow. Yeah. And I was like, wait, seriously? Wait, Bobby, are you mad at that? Yep. And she was like, something about- his, I get it. Something about this bald- No, no, she loved the ha but your bald and your hair. It's like Stavros. Stavros is yeah. another Stavros. reason- they Like, she was obsessed with his head. She was like- Yeah. I, I, she goes, tell him not to shave his sides. Right. It's like, it's like you look so bad, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's no, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm sure we've talked about this before. How they're like they're switched, like huh. like Carlos, like the way Fancy talks. His name should be Carlos, and Carlos should be Fancy. Like if when Car Fancy starts talking, like I got you a gift. That guy's name should be Carlos. Yeah, yeah, you're right. But then and then and then and then. But do you know what his real name is? Fancy's real name. Uh, Fabrizio. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fabrizio. No, his name is Andres. Andres. And oh yes, Andres. Yeah, I knew yeah. that. Andres. Which is just Andrew in Spanish. Right. It's just me in Spanish. Say, Carlos physically assaulted me in the original room. Like physically, literally physically assaulted. A couple nights ago. Oh, well, ago. I know. Look, but that's because he looks like Ari Shafir. That's too. <laughs> yeah. Did you, did you not? And I, I want an apology on air, dude. What did you do? No, no, no. Bobby, you called me and apologized for what you did. What did you do? Bobby threw water on me in the OR. Oh. Whoa. Yeah, you what the hell's that. that about, dude? Of half the audience during someone's set. Bro. The thing is. Who was on stage? I think Adam Ray. Man, he can take the bit. Why did oh, he throw God. water? Why he threw water? No, what Carlos and McCone do from our show? No. Mm -hmm. it, yes, you do. No, I, I. Yes, you do. I mm. don't, bro. You did. I did that one time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you do all the time. Not what they do is they pull their weight, their bad friends' weight, oh my and they God. sit in the booths in the back in the original room where like the comics sit. They told me I should shut the fuck up for a second, okay? Mm -hmm. so pay, the paid regulars ca can only sit. You know what it is like in the right? cellar, that corner booth. Yes, for and, and, comics and, only. And literally, I walk in the OR and they're sitting. Like they're, they're smoking? No, th but yeah, there's was, nothing in their fingers. You guys are doing this yeah, and yeah. not even smoking? And you know what Carlos did? He did the fucking. <gasps> wow. He did the Corey Feldman? He Corey Feldman, dude? Wow. But That's they were fucked. Sitting there like that and it drove me crazy. I just threw water on them. Nah, okay. I get it. I get that. So I got yeah. up and grabbed his dick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. well, that's not okay. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to okay. do you want to clear the air? Well, I want to apologize for that for for real, but also something happened at the airport with your mom that we never told you. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> okay, is it going to upset me? Yeah. What then is it what I did with her in the lounge? Uh in no. the Delta lounge? It's worse. Oh shit. Uh, uh, no. No. I just Andre, that was tell, bad when you did. tell it to me. Tell it to me. I'm fine. Okay. I want to look in the camera. This camera right here. I'm embarrassed. And I'm going to be real. I know. In my real reaction. Go ahead. Carlos gave her a bump of coke. <laughs> no, when um, she was going to her gate, we were in different terminals and Ooh. she didn't want us to help her anymore because she was over it. And when I was hugging her, I hit her in the face really hard. Like I swung my arm at her. <laughs> you physically assaulted Bob's mom? I, and she was like, oh, ha, 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 ha. it's okay. But then I, w I was like super apologetic, but I definitely hit Bobby's mom. So you gave her CTE? Wow. Wow. That's so fucked up, dude. It's I not was right. sober, bro. What? I was sober, though. At the time, yeah. yeah. I was. How do you feel, Bob? I get to hit your mom now. <laughs> <laughs> it's only fair, dude.
I get to hit your he mom. He gets to hit your mom as hard as he can. Close fisted too. Yes. She can take it. She's young. All right, yeah. Yeah. Fine. And she's she's Mexican, right? Yeah, she's from Mexico. Ah, she can take the hit. There you go. <laughs> Imagine Carlos's mom is the one that has the hair like him. <laughs> <laughs> My dad's bald. I'm just taking it crazy far. It looks it really does look great. When you guys rock it with confidence, it looks awesome. Hell yeah. Why don't you tell Bobby? What's up? Oh, tell Bobby. Now that you started. Tell him what's going on. Tell him what oh. you told me. Be honest. I, oh. Bobby, this is an honest moment of bad friends. Okay. Okay. When Andrew walked in earlier, I didn't want to tell him this. And it was actually, it was hard for me to say, but I have three days sober now. I, I went out. Had a little slip up. Yeah. Okay. I know, That's what I, I told him. It's all good. It was hard though. I Like I didn't intend to drink that night and then I drank and it was the same thing. It was crazy. Because you went on a date. Yeah. And you felt pressure to drink. Yeah, I felt nervous, so I had a martini, and then did I, she order a drink? Yeah, well, I bought her drink. No, but I'm saying like, who ordered first? She wanted a drink. It was like, yeah, we're gonna get drinks. Did you tell her I don't, I don't drink? I didn't say that. Yeah, are you afraid to say that to a girl when you're on a date? Right now, I am. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's th normal. Yeah, you know what they say, right? For the first year of sobriety, what do they say? Go to a meeting every day. No, not like that. You should be in a relationship. Oh, I saw. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Shouldn't be in a relationship. It was tough. It was tough. Work on yourself. Okay. It's and, all the and, same. And, and no more glory holes. But can he can he be out there getting pussy? No. no. You're not supposed to. But I Sorry, saw a man. glory hole on a dating app. I think I sent you the picture. I know you sent me the glory hole picture. <laughs> Trust me, I I log all of them. <laughs> but when you, when you said it to me, you didn't go to it though. I didn't go, and I didn't go to the milking table. Well, I told you not to go. Yeah, I didn't go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't go. Don't you worry. can't go. No. Just take a year off from glory holes. I, yeah, I think so. This dude, dude, dude. Is that not in the book, in the 12 steps? It's not in the book, but what that I'm saying. That seems like the four, first I was talking to Jimmy step. Schubert the other day. Oh, no. You know Jimmy, right? So funny, Jimmy Schubert. Yeah, 59 him. years old. Yeah. Rips. Right? You like Jimmy? Rips. Rips. So funny. Ripper. He's one of my best buddies. Okay? I love him. Love him, right? He goes, yeah, guy, I'm, I'm going to the Philippines right now. You, what's he doing in the Philippines? He's ripping ass. Sure. Right? You can rip ass at any age. Mm. Right? You're young. It's still going to be there, your dick energy. Look, look at me. Yeah. My little dick energy. Yeah. It's yeah. still working, baby. Nobody calls it rip ass, by the way. That's farting. Rip ass is farting. What do you mean? That's yeah. farting. You said I Jimmy Schubert's going to the Philippines to fart. <laughs> yeah. That, <laughs> that guy's flying a 17 hour flight just to, <laughs> just to let it all out. Well, you can, rip, you can still rip ass sexually. Hey, I'm in the Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Jimmy Schubert calls turds sewer pickles. Sewer pickles. He's like, I got a sewer pickle. <laughs> He's so funny. It's always going to be there, my point. You can rip ass your whole life. Okay. But I think right. it's, and it's also, it's good that you're, you know, being open and honest. I think that's a big thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you gotta. Yeah, that's why How, I told you today. Well, I'm, I'm appreciative and I, and we want to keep promoting you to stay, stay good. Thanks, bro. And stay healthy. Yeah. I put the bottle down. No more drinking for me for a while. Really? really? Why? It's been gone for a while. I don't know. I just felt like I needed to. How do long? It. For how long have you been not drinking? The holidays? Since before the holidays? Yeah. Did I inspire you? No. Okay. No, you don't inspire me at all. I just had to ask. Or influence me or <laughs> no. Ask. No, no, no. You know what it really was? Was like uh just getting older. I don't know. Yeah, I get it. I don't know. I just I I'm getting a little bit older, pain the body pains are a little bit different now and you have a couple and Yeah. I don't know. And I don't want to end up looking like Andres. You know what I mean? Right. How old is Andres? Fuck, fucking 13. Did you, you know. enjoy some of your time <laughs> in, in España? Yeah, it was it was nice. It was good. It was good. Good to see family. Good to see Are family. they proud of you? They don't know what I'm doing. I, I hide this from them. <laughs> you're right. embarrassed about this? Yes. Wow. A, a, a lot of people are. You're, wait, you're embarrassed about working for bad friends? Mm hmm Well, yes. No, I get it. No, I don't. I don't get it. I get it. I don't get it. We're one of the top podcasts on planet Earth. No, I know, but Conquistadors, all the, the history of these guys. You know, they don't Viceroy. Know that. Yeah. Right. I mean, he'll tell you all the history of Spain. Give, me, give us a quick synopsis of the history of Spain. Go. Me? Yeah. No, I only, I only know America. Oh, you don't know Spanish? Spain. The only well, I know I know Spain. You know, had territories in the United States. You know, that's why Cuban people speak Spanish and how influential the Spanish colonial empire was. The Invincible Armada, or you would say the Invincible Armada. <laughs> I know them, but I, I don't I, know I the history know. of actual mainland Spain. Hmm. I don't know it as well. Other than they're like you know they're the original. You know, people speak Spanish in me most countries that speak Spanish is because Spain conquered them. Right. Mexico. Mexico is not, they don't, they don't, they don't speak Spanish. Puerto Ricans don't speak Spanish. It's just the Spain. This is what it is about when people attack white people. It's like, well, then you have to attack Spanish people too, because they were worse. They were worse than, than our whites. Yeah. 
And the, you know who was the absolute worst? What? Asians. Yeah. Well, they the, are the most rate. Say, but, the Japanese are the yeah, but worst. The, but, the, but, 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 no, Koreans but, are the but, worst. But, and Koreans very but bad. You, but, but you th no, they're not. We read on this show that they have the largest unbroken chain of slavery in the history of the world. Yes. Korea. Aside from that, though. But, well, but what? Like, <laughs> aside from it. that, we're great. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. It's insane. Yeah, but do China, the the, the, the the countries that Japan occupied, do they speak Japanese? No. We let, they let them keep their language. Right. But the Spanish did not. You talk like we talk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? That's a Spanish accent? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the, Spanish, the Spanish, Spanish Inquisition, very bad Spanish Inquisition. But oh, people just want to talk about whites. Oh, you want to talk about white people being... What about the Spanish Inquisition? Very not good. No bien. No bien. No, no, bien. no bien. I think they consider us white. Right. Who does? Not us. Well, exactly. We're not, I'm not inviting you yeah. to the party. Let me see your papers. Where were you on Jan 6? Were you there? Did I, you go to the anniversary? I was looking. I yeah, know. he was thinking about it. <laughs> For me, it was a Jan 6 was a hell of a holiday this year because it was my holiday, of course, storming the Capitol, but then also it's Puerto, it's Little Christmas. I know so you that's said the, that. It's so wild. That's the Puerto Rican Little Christmas. So I had a big, big day. With, that was my big day of the year. Little Christmas. Little Christmas. Little, little Christmas. Pequeña Navidad. Pequeño Navidad. What do you do on Little Christmas? Three Kings, Three Kings Fest. And then, you know, in Puerto Rico, so we just kind of, I give my family gifts wrapped up in aluminum foil. <laughs> <laughs> and they use that foil to clean with it. Yes. Like, I'm going to go fucking scrub Yes, the and then I say, come on, this is what we're going to take our lunch with. <laughs> Best day of the year. Best day. When you pack the kids' lunch, what's, what, what's the lunch that you pack? <laughs> so, it, it, so, so, like, sometimes when Jazz makes lunch, she makes, like, good, you know, like, lunch for them, like, sandwiches and stuff, but sometimes... Who's Jazz, who's Jazz? Jazz is my girl. girl. Jazz. Jasmine, girl my girlfriend. Man. My girlfriend, the mother of my kids. But the <laughs> other day, my kids, Jazz, she'll have early, uh, she's a fitness instructor, so she'll have early classes sometimes, and she asked me to pack the kids' lunch. And the other day, I didn't, I had no idea what to give them for lunch, so I just took out Tupperwares, and I gave them leftover tortellini Alfredo <laughs> in Tupperwares. Yeah. And then they couldn't eat it, because it was like frozen uh, yeah, together. Yeah. And they called the school, like, you know, they're like, they, she, you know, your kids have no lunch they can't eat this lunch and jasmine was like what what did you give them for lunch it was like totally and alfredo and tumblr she was like are you a fucking asshole <laughs> why would you do that i was yeah. like what did you want but me they don't have a microwave at school fucking heat it up no the kid they won't let dude you know what it is crazy with my with the, how much the world's changed the pandemic this was one of the biggest most fun parts of lunch that they've taken away my kids in school cannot share their food with their friends you can't do trades uh, you know i would trade no. you a dunkaroo for some, some kimchi yes yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. they kimchi probably by the way probably wouldn't make that trade yeah oh why i'd be like don't talk to him he has nothing good to offer <laughs> oh really gochujang no thanks. Kimchi no. Jjigae. Kimchi. No. no? I would okay. say, Bobby, why is my, my food is barking? <laughs> um, <laughs> so, but but um, they won't let them trade food anymore. It sucks. That is bullshit. That was such a big thing in, in school. But you look forward to. Swapping. Yeah. Because there was always a kid who had all the all the good shit. Yeah. I never got good shit. I never had anything fun. I had, they made me eat lunch at school. What? Yeah. We, we all, yeah, my kids eat lunch at school. No, no, no. They didn't pack. We had food at yeah, school, school lunch. lunch. Yeah, school I, lunch. I used to have school lunch too. The fucking fucked up pizza, all that stuff. Tater yeah. tots. Shitty pizza and yeah, the yeah. burgers. How yeah. often did you steal? Did you steal the food from the cafeteria? No, you know what I would do? I would escape because, you know, we belong to Stone Ridge Country Club. Ooh. Yeah, I know. Family? Stop licking your lips after you say something. <laughs> why, why? I don't know. I love it. Yeah. Right. It's devious. Yeah, so we went to Stone Ridge. We would escape, go to Stone Ridge. Mm -hmm. They had a restaurant. Mm. And because my parents were members, Mm. I used to get gourmet hamburgers and then sign it over, oh, right? That's unbelievable you live like this. Yeah, yeah. And then I would go back to school. It's fun. Wow. And people were like eating these fucking ham sandwiches. I, I just had a gourmet fucking thick ass yes. french fries. Oh my a God. A Diet Coke. Mm, steak fries. Yeah, Love yeah. it. Yummy. And a Sunday. I used to steal from our cafeteria <laughs> yes. all the time. And I'd put the burgers in my pockets. I'd have like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, as many burgers as I could put in my pockets. Yeah. I loved stealing from school. That was like my favorite thing to do. How much shit could I steal? Just steal it all. I would. I, I, was, a, I was a big thief because I didn't want to pay for it. I didn't have any money anyway. Right. My so school had, it. did you guys have this? In the 80s, we had a, a fucking whole area with a fence. Smoking. Yeah, section. smoking. We had smoking. Yeah. Yeah, we had a smoke in high school. No, we couldn't smoke. Kids just smoking cigarettes. We had a patio off of the main, off of one of our main, um, kind of like. Oh, actually, it was the it was a freshman sophomore cafeteria, and then it was a junior senior area. Yeah, and then off of there was an indoor. There was a patio, and you kids could smoke out there. Right. If you were a senior, you could go out there and smoke. 
I thought that was so fucking wild because I didn't think much of it until later that I was like, wow, that's crazy that you used to be able to fucking just walk outside and smoke and come back inside. I was scared because it was the heavy metalers. It was a cool guys. It was a cool And guys. we had Mexican heavy metal people, so they're scary. They're the scariest. They're the scariest. They all look like Slash. Yes. I, I, I hate yeah, it because so the, scary. The, honey bu- the, the, the honey buns, I used to like honey buns. Mm. Mm. And the honey bun, the machine, the honey bun machine was over by the smoking door. Yeah. And I fucking never would go over there if there was older kids by the door smoking. Because yeah. I didn't want them to make fun of me, mm. right? You know, but so if there was um, if there was nobody outside, I'd go get a honey bun. But that was my biggest deflection was smokers. I've been trying to talk about my love life all day, man. Love you life. haven't even brought it up once. And then I want to talk about my love life. Yeah, are you doing good? Yeah. Oh, that's great. Mm-hmm. Okay, go ahead. Um, I'm. I have a new theory. Okay. I'm going to edge love. Hmm. So you're gonna edge love. You're you not gonna. Go all, you're not gonna go you're like even, edging in sex, but love. You're not gonna go all the way in with love. I'm not even gonna meet them. Well, that's not. Well, I don't know if that's edging. <laughs> I'm not gonna check it out. I think you've misinterpreted what edging is. Yeah. No, no. I, I think you're misinterpreting what I'm saying. Okay. All right. M- may I explain? Please. Like in like in sex, right? I'm about to come. I'm about to come, right? But I don't come. That's edging. Yeah. That's edging, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna see her. I'm gonna see her. I'm not gonna see her. Right, so it's that, so that mystery and that you know what I mean, like what's gonna happen is always there, and they just never see each other. Could you be filling this time doing something constructive? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, man? I don't know, like comedy or job or like anything. No, this is side stuff. Well, but you're not really doing it. Yes, I am doing it. It's like you're mapping out the plans to a building, and you're never gonna build it. Th- that's exactly. You're edging architecture. Why would you? <laughs> Why would you be an architectural edger? What? Why? Because it's like the dream of it. Because what I realize is once you hook up, it loses that magic. Sure. Sure. Well, that's a piece of it. Yeah. It's It's all about the chase, the anticipation of it all. The hunt is better than the kill. Right. So it's like, uh, what? I said such a drug addict. That's a drug out thing. Of course, you're chasing the chasing the endorphins of it. Right. That is it, the definition of what you're doing. Is yeah, because I realize that. being single, and once you do it, and then once you're in the smashing and you come and you do all that, it loses something. So I'm just gonna try this for the next year. This so. is this is this is dude. This is why TikTok. Every girl on there is like, men are fucking me up. Why? Because this is gonna fuck them up. No, are you masturbating a- to them? No. You have to. You don't come. Lie. lie. What? That's I a don't. terrible lie. Yeah. In fact, last night, I haven't masturbated in four days. And uh, What? Know. You haven't? I'm not, Carlos, I don't Carlos know why I'm revealing, I'm not revealing this, but I swear to God, four days I didn't masturbate. Last night, I go, you know what? Bobby deserves a little session, right? Mm-hmm. So, you know, my, you know the, um, I have a machine. I have a machine. You suck Master 3000. Right, but the, yes. it broke because I got too much water in it because oh. I do it in the bathtub, right? So, like, the electri- electrical components rusted. Rusted? Yes, yeah, so I put the batteries in there. Are you and sitting in the tub? Just Why do you do it in the bathtub? <laughs> I have to do it in the bathtub. You have a water jerk? Yeah. He likes okay. to sit at it's 90 the kind degrees of when he comes. It attaches to the wall. <laughs> yeah. But I got too much water in it. It rusted. Yeah. So I took the, the, the actual vag- vaginal part out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? Right. And I've been gripping that and doing it. Sure. Sure. Right? That's fine. So I was like, what? What if? No. What if you got rid of the vaginal part and yeah. then just gripped it with your hand? <laughs> have you ever done that? Yeah. I've done it so many years with that. Okay. Tired of it. Oh, you are, you're Pass. over it. Oh, you're over yeah. it. I'm over it. So it is. Did it? If it ain't broke, I know when I would get when I would get bored of like my hand, I would jerk off with my catcher's mitt. (laughs) That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah. So that part. (laughs) You're talking about your girlfriend's face. (laughs) Let me finish my thing. So last night I'm in the bathtub, and I I was like, fuck, I can't, fuck it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. So I'm gonna edge it all. Oh, you're edging (sighs) all of it. I'm edging all of it, dude. What do you guys think? I, I, I mean, um, I think we voiced it halfway through. It was yeah. a bad idea. I think it's so, going to work. I think it sounds like a bad idea. It does. It sounds like a Let bad me try idea. it, though. I think what about abstinence in general? Just say no thank you to everything and that you don't have to set yourself because up. Because I like, I like the cutesy shit. Okay. That's you fine. Mean, I like the right. babes. Right. You want to be a cutesy poop. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. My podcast every Thursday. Every yeah, Thursday. go check Sal that Volcano. out with Sal Volcano. What? We're, what's, we're your love? what's your love? You want, you want to talk about yours? Oh, well, no, I was, I, uh, <laughs> I, uh, you sounded like you wanted to. I, <laughs> I don't know. I was going to think of a Kalila joke, but I couldn't. Um, I, uh, no, I'm good. My thing. Oh, you want to fuck Kalila? No, Jesus. no, Whoa, I, I actually don't. Too, yeah, too I actually why, don't. Why don't you say it's nicer? Do you want to hang out with her? Yeah. I don't. 
Yeah. I don't uh, I love her so much. I don't want to fuck Let's Delilah. Let's move on. I, um... <laughs> <laughs> so funny, dude. I, I'm crazy. So uncomfortable. Person. I'm a crazy person. Hey, whatever, dude. Yeah, yeah, you only yeah. live once. Yeah. This might all be a simulation. You ever think about this? Let me put this oh, here. Tell me if you ever heard this. Tell me if you ever heard this. Oh, yeah, yeah, what yeah, about yeah. this? And this is brought up by uh, my podcast partner, Mike Cannon, who's uh, with me now on my podcast every week of Chrissy Chaos. He is said, that that guy, little guy there? No, no. Mike Cannon's back on the East Coast. That's Don DePetta. That's that's little Don. And then Steve. That's Steve Chicone Rice Aroni. Yeah. Um, Steve Chacon. Where do you right? get a, like a little Manson guy like that? A little Stevie like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. I got him at the you guitar. Got I got him at Guitar Center. Yeah, yeah. He's he was little, He was on the you know, shelf. He's got like the handsome stru structure of the yeah. face. Mm -hmm. But if he was taller, it'd be good. Right. But he's so small, so it ruins it. Right. Yeah. He's like a wish, <laughs> he's like a wish dot com yeah, version yeah, yeah, of, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. of right of another it's like man. Almost there, but not right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Town, you're going to do shows down. This will be out with, by the time you already did them. Were you doing in Brea? Where are you? I'm at? doing no. I'm doing uh I'm doing uh the Magnolia Theater in San Diego, and then I'm doing the Wiltern Theater in L. A. And let me tell you, I got two words: big mistake. <laughs> Kids wow. about fifty percent sold on both shows. <laughs> big mistake. Where's the Wiltern? Huge. Where, when's the Wiltern? Saturday, this Saturday. It'll sell. We'll, I got, we'll tweet I, about it. We'll tweet I, li about. I literally have 50% of the room sold on both. I was like trying to beg my agent. I was like, can we just cancel? And he was like, no. Bring, bring, up Christy, yeah. bring up Christy comedy right now. Yes. And I also need help in Nashville at the Ryman. Kid bit off more than he can chew, chew, chew. We, lo <laughs> we love, we had a great time at the Ryman. At the Ryman, yeah. yeah, yeah. So. Two upcoming shows there, upcoming shows. Yeah, I feel like I'm slowly slipping out of uh, comedy. No, dude. No, you're not. I don't know why. I feel, I, it's just a, it's an honest feeling. Give me I, the I, I'm hoping the it's going to go away. The will turn. There it is. Fuck me. Let's see. Let's see how bad. Go to the seat view map. We'll just see what. Yeah, we want to see what it looks let's like. Let's see what a shit fest this is. No, what do you mean? The floor's totally solid. No, dude, go no, no, to no, the arrow up top. But see I'll tell plus, you see what. The plus symbol. Yes. Go to the plus symbol in the top right. See it? Click on okay, that. Okay. Okay. But what do you mean? That's but sold. Andrew, that's sold Andrew, out. Andrew. Andrew. No. We. You know what they do here? They're blocking out seats on the digital map, so it forces you to buy. That's. I don't think I've sold though. You're sold out. I think out. there's curtain. No, there's curtains up. I would. Assume. You're selling out. No. You're selling out. I'm telling you, there's no way I have that many tickets. Bob and I are going to promote it. You're selling Fine. out. Fine. You're yeah, not going to come to our out. city and not sell out. Fine. Fuck that. Yeah. But it wasn't missing. I mean, we, when I come to LA, we probably should just do the comedy clubs. That's probably the better idea. Well, here's the problem. It's like with me and this guy in New York. Like, I'll be, I'll see you in a week when I go to New York. I, when someone's like, hey, do you want to go play? Uh, what did I play that you came to? What I played City uh, Town Hall. Town Hall. Yeah. And they were like, you want to do that again? No, I'd rather just play the seller and whatever and yeah. work out because it's a workout city. LA yeah. is tough too. It's a workout city. Yeah. Yeah. We're all here. Yeah, and I also did the Brea Improv, the Oxen Improv. And well, those Irvine. are good because they're away. Right, but but I would assume it, it has something to do with- uh, why, did you, why don't you just do Irvine and Improv? You no, I, so much money. I should have. I, sh I, it was, I probably next year moving forward, you know, if I- you know, Hey, we're playing Reno. We're doing the Grand Sierra. I'm all, I mean, the, my sh tickets there are so beyond dog shit. It's unbelievable. What we, what, what a we full there? fucking zero I am. What are we at right No, you know what's I, funny? I have like 500 tickets sold out. If there's 2,500 seat, I mean, uh, let it load. I mean, there is, you cannot imagine. I, I think I have 10% of the room sold there. <laughs> I'm just going because the next day I'm interviewing Jerry Rice at the Super Bowl. Oh, That's, all I'm doing. That's cool, right? Wait, yeah. you're in Reno what day? February 8th, Friday. Uh, we're there on the 3rd. We're there before you. Shiza. Yeah, but our tickets are bad in Reno too. You know why? Fucking it's a uh, casino. I don't, it's a casino in Reno. It's, it's a nice guarantee up front, so that's why I took it. And I figured, out, I, and I love state capital, so Carson City, is capital, Nevada, is twenty minutes away. But I mean, I, you, I mean, they're laughable. The only one I'm doing good in is the Warner Theater in D.C. That one's almost sold out. Hey guys, let's be the comics that only do clubs now. We should. We just want to make the it's, money. It's just too. It's just. It's a too much. We're playing ten shows at big theaters. Come after out. that. After all right. That, yeah. After I was that. like, what the. And fuck then I do a Sugura thing in the summer, and then after that, right. Clubs. But yeah, you guys. Yeah. Are, Let's but, talk about our clubs. little beef. You're leaving me for Sugura, huh? Oh come on. No, guy. go ahead and say it. Go ahead and tell the world what you did. What I did call you? him up. He goes out to Hawaii for Sugura. He does a show for him, and then he tells me, "I'm going to do a bunch of shows with Sugura later too." Oh. You leaving me for Sugura? Six. What's that about? Six shows. That's as many as we're doing in the new year. Right. We did 50, you and I. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then you're a bona fide, one of the greatest headliners. You know what I mean? Not me. No. So no, I'm just, no. I'm just, wherever the wind takes me, I go. No, it's okay. If that's how you want to end okay. this whole thing, it's fine. Is that, we're not no. ending. Dude. If this is how you want to. Shut the fuck up. See? All right, I'm see what he's angry. doing? Let me see. Yeah. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah. All right. I want to say something real in here, dude. Tom yeah. Segura. I mean, he's famous. Yeah. You know I, what? You know what, Bobby? Famous. You know what? I think you've been hearing in your head, in your Asian head. I think you've been hearing, you've been mispronouncing the word loyalty for royalty. Royalty. You think you're royalty. Wow. But you need loyalty. So that L and R is a big one for you right now. Thank you. You think Chris. you're royalty, but we're saying loyalty. Loyalty. Oh, you, you want to talk about royalty? <laughs> 
You want to talk about Wuiti right now, dude? <laughs> Wuiti. Right. Are we doing Australia? Yeah, we are. Yeah. We'll Guess who's that. not going? That's Russell Crowe. Right. <laughs> Listen, I'm doing six shows. I'll never do it again. No, no, it's okay. It hurt, <laughs> okay does, I, it, does it hurt my feelings? Yeah, it, it, does. it really does. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you being real? Yes, Tom Segura. Those guys? You're gonna go with those guys? Me, Tom, and Jessica Curson. I love Jessica Curson, but yeah. Tom Segura. Tom, yeah, yeah. He doesn't need He's two lesbians nice open guy to me. <laughs> what? He doesn't need two, two lesbians. lesbians. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being a bad friend. <laughs> Oh my God, De Stefano is here, dude. I haven't seen you in so long, my little mm -hmm. fucking about here's why, boy. Here's before why we start the front, yeah. yeah, go ahead. That's why they don't have Asians on the shows. <laughs> <laughs> I will rip your. Honestly, your start Asian hate again. <laughs>